This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeware Face Attorney Investigations 2, everybody. We are starting case two today, which is Turn the, the imprisoned, imprisoned turnabout. Oh, right, with Zelda. Yeah. yeah, so Marty's main prediction is that this is Zelda, the portrait this on the is screen Zelda. is Zelda. The imprisoned is the imprisoned from Skyward Sword. Totally makes sense. She's also predicting a new character is going to be a screamo death metal unicyclist. <laughs> or someone with bipolar disorder and personality disorder, because Artie told me that there's a character that he's kind of scared. So okay, so there are know. a ton of new characters that get introduced in this video. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, so I'll say it now. I have actually practiced voice acting for this yeah, game. Yeah, apparently. Just, just because Marty does such a good job of voice acting, I kind of wanted to get on her level. Just no, because I, I... Just because this game I love so much, and there are some okay. characters that I, I want to do them justice. But there's there are, there are two or three characters that are going to tax my <laughs> voice a little bit. Okay. So just... Be prepared I for that. I always feel like what ends up happening whenever I try to voice the characters, I'll be like, "Hi," and then I'm like, "Oh wait, this is a weird." If it's some one, if it's like the first sentence, that, and like you don't the know what they look like, that's perfectly like, fine if you do that. Uh, I've played these games before, though. Yeah. Anyhow, let's get started. Free two let's one go. Let's go. Ooh, are we gonna? Are we about to play the Chain Chomp game from Mario Party Five? See, it looks like that same alleyway. Oh, listen to that music. Look at all that blood. Or uh, maybe raspberry sherbet. Nope, blood. Do, 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 do. Oh, jeez. Wow. So it's kind of overarching. Okay. It's a dog. You thought it was a cow? <laughs> I thought it was a cow. I thought there was just there's no cow. So this, I'll say this game does an amazing job leading from one case to the next. Yeah, this is definitely good. March 27th, 10, 16 a.m. Detention Center Visitors Room. He's not coming. He's not coming, sir. How long does he intend to keep us waiting? No, no, Mr. Edgeworth. There's no need to get your cra cravat in a twist. Ethan Rook's murder. Two days after the incident, we visited the detention center. Naturally, we were hoping to meet with the defendant, Horace Knightley. His trial was set to begin the next day, with me serving as the prosecutor. Mm -hmm. Still, he is rather late. You there, do you know what's going on? Uh, it's certainly strange. I'll try calling him one more time. It's terrible! It's Knightley! He's been murdered! What? What did you say? Murdered? Inside the detention center? Ooh, that's fun. Mr. Edgeworth, let's go check it out! You there? Take us to the crime scene. Post haste. Yes, sir! Knightley's not in his cell? I thought he was being held there. What are you doing, sir? This way! Where are you taking us, pal? Through this door is the... Ah, it's the prison. Prison? The... What were the small rooms back there? Those cells we just passed are part of the detention center. They're used for holding suspects temporarily while they await their trial. What lies ahead is a facility that serves a completely different purpose. This is where criminals who have been declared guilty serve out their sentence, pal. It's the one place a great thief does not want to end up K. I'm opening the door now. Please follow me. Look at all those ugly mugs. Oh. There's a noose and then there's him. The there's no mistaking it. Knightley's dead. Moreover, he was murdered inside the prison walls. How exactly did this happen? March 27th, 10.32am, Prison Workroom A. It took 
15 minutes to run from there to there? Well, we don't know how long they were waiting, just like dot, dot, oh, dot. Oh, okay. I can't believe something like this would happen to Mr. Knightley! Yes, I can't believe it either. But the scene you see before you is unmistakable re reality. Besides, wasn't Mr. Knightley supposed to be in the detention center? Indeed, he was. Knightley hadn't had his trial yet. Before a suspect is found guilty, they're detained in the detention center's holding cells. They only enter the prison after they have received a guilty verdict. Knightley should not have been moved in here. Do you think he passed through those giant doors that we went through earlier, sir? Huge metal doors and a long passageway separate the prison and the detention center. As a suspect, Knightley wouldn't have been able to pass through. This is very important details, though. Floor plans. Floor so plans, yep. Them. There's offices, okay. What happened to Knightley? In order to solve this mystery, we must first investigate the crime scene. Begin investigation, prison work roommate. Why is Kay our partner in a gumshoe? Yeah? What's up? So this is where prison's like. It's been a very educational. You're more enthusiastic than I am at gathering information. Mr. Edgeworth, you need to work harder at gathering information. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble when the time comes. I don't think the time you're talking about will ever come. But I do need to gather more information. In order to complete my logic and catch the killer. Yes, sir! He was arrested on the afternoon of the 25th and was killed on the morning of the 27th. I never expected the criminal to become the victim, sir! Yes. It doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth. Maybe to kill or kill Knightley. He couldn't let anyone who had seen his true identity live. Or something like that. Then he'd kill all of them. Are you talking about Shelley to killer? If he was the killer, then he would have left his calling card behind. Besides, didn't we also see his true identity as well? That's right! And we're still alive, sir! Still, to commit murder in such a place is not an easy task. How did the criminal murder Knightley? It would probably have to be... Well, it's not impossible. We've all seen Avatar episode The Rock, The Boiling Rock. Again with the last Airbender reference. I don't know. It's, it's possible. We it's need to totally... reference Arthur more. <laughs> yeah, we do. It's nice that the prison and the detention center are connected, sir. As they both get to share the visitor's room, it's actually quite convenient. Well, it is an unusual design, but it is convenient for visitors. Why do the detention center and the prison need to be separated in the first place, sir? The suspects go in the detention center, while the convicts go in the prison. They might seem similar, but they are actually two completely different facilities. Those cramped, dark, and uncomfortable cells all seem the same to me, sir. If you're still having trouble understanding the differences, why don't you step inside one? Uh, I think I'll pass, sir. Cool. Can we talk to the security guard? Is there anything out of place? Is he a different one? Yes, sir! Uh, if I had to say... What is it? There's a dead body over there! Yup, that's definitely out of place! If you notice anything else out of place, please be sure to tell me. Uh, noose? This section of the room is covered in dirt. The dirt is soft and has footprints on it, sir. There's his. There are too Edwards. many footprints. It won't be easy to identify them all. Until the forensics arrive, we probably shouldn't tamper with this area. Detective, please don't trip and fall in the dirt. He's standing in the dirt. I'll be careful, sir. I don't want to get my favorite coat dirty. I'm more worried that you'll mess up the footprints. We won't rest until we've stolen every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Indeed. This is quite a large area to investigate. Press the Y button to switch screens. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Can't believe you didn't even notice that. Hmm. It's a pulley. Is that used for prison labor too? It looks like it. There's something I want to ask you. Don't even think about dangling on the hook. Aww! wanted to do somehow I had a feeling there's nothing of interest here that's not true I examined the lock it's a cage 
cage inside a cage that's the prison. It's like a cageception. <laughs> yeah, like they do things like that, cageception, which there's no way that's in the Japanese version. I believe the correct term is prison cell. They're the same thing. You need to look more at the essence of things. Actually, it's more important to get the correct information. It's a cage inside of a cage. Cageception. Hmm. Oh, it's this is still the pulley. Yeah. That is the pulley. Those are some colorful sheets. What about the whip? Is Francisca here? That's what I was wondering. They're the most eye-catching thing in the room. They don't fit in with the prison. There's a whip placed on top of the sheets. Reminds me of the whip lady. Maybe she left her whip here. Hmm. <laughs> I doubt she'd ever leave her whip behind. Kay remembers Francisca. Yeah, who could forget? Oh yeah, that only happened ten days ago. Or also, who twelve days ago. Her? There was a rope near the body as well. By the way, my special talent. If it's about rope escapes, there's no need for that now. Aww. Does she want to show it off that badly? Hmm. It's a pulley. Wait, again with the pulleys? <laughs> Fine. I think we've examined anything everything there anyways. Yep, already checked this area, but it never hurts to double check. Mr. Edgeworth. It never hurts to double check. Sometimes I. We'll look at you later. Sometimes I need to voice a prison guard. There's a wash basin over here. You just give it like the. Trust me, you don't want. You can't date the. You prison can't guard. date the female guard. <laughs> <laughs> See. I thought you said you knew his resolution was to stop eating, eating sandwiches, sandwiches in, in the, the bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> but it's not midnight yet, so I can still do it. Are there any clues that could be useful to this case? I don't smell any signs of treasure. I'm searching for clues here, not treasure. Kay, you're kind of annoying me right now. Yeah, Kay, you see why Kay's my least favorite partner? <laughs> There's a bunch of strange tools here. I think Trucy's worse. At least Trucy's quirky in a good way. Kay's just kind of bland and like, I like to steal things, even though I haven't stolen anything. <laughs> I like to steal things, Trucy's like, I like panties, so... That's true. They're both pretty low They're down both on the partner low list. They're pretty low on the partner list. Ma I've met. Maya and Pearl are the best. I didn't see anything out of place. I'm kind of picking up the scent of animals. Do you have special smelling abilities or something? No, it's just a feeling. But I can smell the. He. I just realized he's like sticking his finger up her nose. Like, You've got a booger. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell the scent of treasure. He's like, oh yeah, smell this. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to lock up all my valuables in a safe. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. I wouldn't steal your valuables. So you would steal someone else's valuables? Doo -doo. <sighs> Doo -doo. Let's examine right. the body. Horace You're standing on his head! <laughs> Horace Knightley. I murdered right before his trial. I hate this man. <laughs> Let me <laughs> step on his face. standing on his head! <laughs> Let me take a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> now his skull is flattened. He's covered with a dirty sheet. There's a rope on top of the sheet. Was Knightley tied up with this rope? Also, why is a pink glove there? That's probably important. Rope data jotted down. Maybe a girl killed him. Let's take a look under the sheet. We might be able to find something. Yikes! The sheet's bright red! These appear to be blood stains. You only look partially. We still might be able to find something. Let's search this area a bit closely. Hmm. There's something on his finger. Is he married? Let's have a closer look. It's his right hand. Oh, it looks like an expensive ring. Don't steal it. What? I didn't do anything yet. Maybe he was proposing to his girlfriend, and it went incredibly wrong. <laughs> she just killed she him. She just- she's a serial murderer, she- maybe it's Dahlia Hathor, Dahlia. Even though she's already been killed and exorcised. Eh, that doesn't stop some weirdos. This is a rubber glove. Or maybe he's dating Iris and she also snapped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no mistaking it. It's a rubber glove. How come there's only one? Let me take a closer look. Turn it around. Oh, okay. It's covered in mud, up to the wrist. Maybe someone was playing with mud in the prison? I want to get in on the action, too! Do it on your own time when we're not investigating a case. Turn, flip, 
Alicia Whip. Oh, something written on there as well. It says for inmate use. That must mean a prisoner. A prisoner uses the gun, the glove. Yes, that's what I was thinking. I can't wait for Tingle to show up. Kulimpa. <laughs> Tingle. Well, look at the guy. On the, his hair. The angel man. <laughs> First it was Pit, then it was Toon Link, and now it's Tingle. It was never Toon Link. Yeah, it was because he has the Wind Waker. Oh, yeah. The fingers of the glove are covered in blood. This glove was dropped after the pool of blood formed. Uh, why's that? If it was on the floor before the pool of blood had formed, the blood would have formed an outline around the glove. Ah, I see. The blood would have only gotten on the edges of the glove. This glove was discarded after it was covered in blood. That must mean the killer left it behind! Indeed. It's highly probable. At the very least, the person who dropped this saw the body. You there? W what is it, sir? Do you recognize this glove? Yes, sir. Uh, the inmates use these for prison labor. That's odd. Rubber gloves are usually kept in the inmates' rooms. They're strictly regulated, so you can't just take them out. Indeed, there are no signs of any other rubber gloves in the room. Rub glove data added down. Rub glove dove. Rub glove dove. Oh, uh, let's look at his. Yeah. Ugh. The blood from his neck stained his brace bright red. He first he got his neck broken by Shelly the Killer, then someone stabbed him in the neck? Oh. That poor neck. Yeah. The cause of death was most likely from his neck wound. He probably died instantly. He couldn't even cry out in pain. Hmm. There are small bumps on his head. Are these bruises? Maybe after he was stabbed in the neck, he fell back and hit his head. I wonder. At this point in time, there are too many unknowns. Kay, do you have your digital camera with you? I'd like the detective to take a photo of the body. Would you let him borrow it? Sure thing. Here, Gummy. Thanks, pal. All right, I'm taking the picture, sir. Gumshoe just gets it with his thumb. Still, he's wearing some awfully dirty clothes. Hmm... There appears to be dirt stains in several places. Crime scene notes jotted down. He's wearing those clothes even though they're dirty. It's just like me, sir! Detective, I hope you realize that not everyone shares your lack of hygiene. Ooh! Maybe if you paid him more. Can we get logic it? Oh, what's that? Huh? What's this? Mr. Edgeworth has something similar in his office. It's a portable chessboard. It was probably the victim's. Uh, Mr. Knightley enjoyed chess, right? He was probably using it to pass time in the detention center. Chessboard data jotted down in the organizer. Maybe he really lost a game of chess. Like, we're talking wizard's chess. Oh, we already checked. Oh, we already okay. Checked everything. I guess logic time. It's time Let me logic. think about this. Well, gee! I wonder what it is! Logic's great, but it's also kind of stupid. <laughs> That's kind of my thoughts on it, too. The sheets stacked here have a very distinctive pattern. So does that one. It's the same as the bloodstain sheet. Th That's right. Okay. Don't steal my lines like that. <laughs> Mr. Edger, you shouldn't get caught off guard like that. I'll never lose my edge as the great thief. I thought she was on hiatus. Bloodstained sheet data jotted down in the organizer. We love that. Well, we've collected quite a bit of evidence. <laughs> With the three of us here, it's a piece of cake. Right, Gummy? That's right, pal. We're the invincible trio. It's too early to start celebrating. There is still something we haven't found yet. Uh, what haven't we found yet, sir? Murder weapon. What is missing from the crime scene? Ah, uh, jeez. The murder weapon that took the victim's life has not been found yet. Ah! Now that you mention it, you're absolutely right, sir! Detective, get your act together. Isn't that the most basic of the basics? Ugh, I'm sorry, sir. No worry about- uh, don't worry about it, Gummy! I didn't notice it either! That's not much of a consolation. In this prison, dangerous objects that could be used as weapons are strictly regulated. They only get one per week. <laughs> <laughs> you can just clonk someone over the head once a week. <laughs> It'd be quite dangerous if the inmates got their hands on them. Obtaining a murder weapon and carrying it around is not an easy task. In a prison. I see! You have a point! 
What was the murder weapon? And where did it go? That pole? That could be the key to solving this case. They, they drowned him in his- <gasps> Oh! Huh? There are visitors here already? Who's this weirdo? Sorry to barge in like this. Oh my gosh. Is this the crime scene? <laughs> he looks exactly like the Game Grumps guy. <laughs> Aaron? From yeah. the Game Grumps? <laughs> yeah, he looks exactly like him. <laughs> He's got the same hair, yeah. Same hair and same, like, smile. <laughs> Your. Huh? You. Aren't you? That piercing gaze. That furrowed brow. It has been a long time. Mr. Shields? Yes, yes. That frilly fin around your neck, and that stiff greeting, there's no doubt about it. Prosecutor Manfred Von Karma. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Epic. What are you saying, pal? Mr. Edgeworth's not that old man. Detective, it's fine. Oh, it it's you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. <laughs> I thought you looked a bit young. <laughs> <laughs> You two are so similar, looks like your Uncle Ray got you two mixed up again. <laughs> what? This is great. <laughs> this is Raymond Shields, he's one of the new characters. He's great. Rayman. Raymond. Or Raymond. Raymond? Oh, he doesn't appear yet. I want to see how old he is. You never change. How many years has it been since we last saw each other? Hmm. I've already forgotten. Your Uncle Ray has been overseas these past few years. But you know... There's something I still haven't forgotten about you and your betrayal. Uh, is he a defense attorney? I'm getting some bad vibes over here. Do you know this guy, Mr. Edgeworth? Allow me to introduce him to you. Raymond Shields, attorney at law. Uh-huh. He looks like George Washington if he was young. Ace Attorney Ray Shields at your service. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. Kate Faraday, nice to meet you. I'm a great thief. Uh, but I'm currently on hiatus. Great thief? <laughs> well, well, that just sounds romantic. How wonderful. Ooh, Mr. Shields, you get it, right? I'm currently recruiting new members. The registration forms are easy to fill out. That's splendid. Uncle Ray would love to join your little gang. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're only accepting bright, cheerful, and energetic girls. This is like the, this is like the start of a um, magical girl plot. Basically, like, I want to be a magical girl. It's like, sorry, we're only taking bright, cheerful, energetic girls. <laughs> I see. That's too bad. Well, how about a hug then, as a sign of affection? No. Guess not. <laughs> this isn't Europe after all. Mr. Shields, what are you doing here? Oops. <laughs> That's right. Sorry, sorry. Preventing the attorney from investigating the crime scene is the Von Karma way, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He's like, what you gonna do? I love his, like, facial expressions and his, like, shrug. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, yeah. Hey! You've been going on about Von Karma this and Von Karma that. What's your problem, pal? Hold it. Hold it. Detective, restrain yourself. This can't be helped. Eh? Mr. Shields, are you the defense attorney for Horace Knightley? That's right. Or should I say, I was was his defense attorney. Mr. Shields is the defense attorney. If Knightley had not been murdered, I would have been going up against him in court. I should listen to what he has to say. The defense attorneys are cool. I love his theme song, too. Since you received the request to represent the victim, that must mean... Yes, your Uncle Ray was supposed to meet with Natalie Boy. As was I. I had planned to meet with him, but then we heard the report of the dead body. I even brought him a California roll, because wow. we're in America. <laughs> it probably was like, I even brought him sushi. Except that still has avocado in it, so... Mm. Uh, <laughs> sushi in, in Japan doesn't really have... Avocado. avocado. It's all fish, basically. It's fish, or or it's like Nori. cucumber. I like cucumber. Or um, it just doesn't fill me up that way. Yeah, it doesn't. Mr. Shields, you can't bring food into the detention center. Dumplings. <laughs> no, he got like five dumplings. <laughs> ah, is that right? Well then, would you like it? No, thanks. 
Hmm. Still, to think that Prosecutor Edgeworth actually meets with his defendants. All defendants are guilty, wasn't that the Von Karma way? Yikes. That is a thing of the past. Heh. <laughs> is that right? So, you sure you don't want it? I, I told you I don't want it! <laughs> don't want what? The California roll. Oh! <laughs> Did you meet Should? with Knightley? Heh <laughs> We met yesterday. They called me over as soon as Knightley Boy was arrested. <laughs> Since Phoenix Wright didn't want to defend someone who was actually guilty. Phoenix Wright has been out of a job, remember? No, this happens before that. Oh. I think the I think the last case of this game takes place like seven days before Phoenix loses his attorney his badge. His attorney badge? Aw, oh, that's such a shame. He was being quite hostile. Oh yeah, he mentioned you. <laughs> he talked about how you interfered with his plans. He probably said some nasty things about me. Even if he hates me, I'm fine with it. Man, the two of us had a great time talking about you. <laughs> but Mr. Shields, you also talked about me. I frequent the visitors' room here quite often. It's been a while since I had such a good time. <laughs> so you're a regular at the prison. Hey now, don't get the wrong idea. I'm not here as an inmate. I'm here to visit an old acquaintance of mine. We usually meet in the visitors' room, but I've also been in here before. Then I should ask him about this room. He comes here regularly to meet with a prisoner? With an acquaintance of his. Oh, maybe so maybe it's, it's like one of the staff people members. In the office. Maybe it's some hot chick that he's like, oh hey, babe. <laughs> one hug. <laughs> one hug, she's like, no. This room was where the body was found. Do you know anything about it? Ah, this room, eh? Here's a little pop quiz for our prodigy prosecutor. Which of these three is the name of this room? The lecture room, the morgue, the entertainment room. I don't <laughs> of these, it sadly could be the morgue? <laughs> it's not the entertainment room. Let's get it. The lecture room? So they tied up Knightley Boy and lectured him to death? Woo! <laughs> As expected of Prosecutor Edgeworth, you sure have an eye for the details. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, let's reveal the correct answer. Prosecutor Edgeworth's answer is... Wrong! The correct answer is the workroom. Wait, we can't go back? Can we go back? All free choices were wrong. I hate it when he does that. <laughs> <laughs> the inmates carry out various kinds of prison labor in here. It also serves as a rehab program, allowing them to receive job training in prison. That's great! Thanks, Donald yeah. Trump, for doing that. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was Donald Trump. No, he actually has done stuff with prison reform. No, I, I meant more uh, in, in Japanifornia. Oh, yeah. This, put, is, this is 2011. Who's the ruler? No, I mean... I know who ruled America at that point, not really ruled. <laughs> it was Obama. Obama ruled Japan, too. <laughs> if we're being really honest, doesn't America kind of rule everything? No, I'm kidding. Ouch. And all of your subscribers All of my Finland Europe, people are All of your now. Finland people who are so sweet. So, how do they monitor this room? Who is in charge of the keys to the entrance? Prosecutor Edgeworth. Even your Uncle Ray doesn't have all the answers. Oh well, no, not Uncle Ray. Hey, you there, could you tell us? Yes, sir, uh, this, this room doesn't use any locks or keys. Instead of locks, the doors are equipped with sensors. What do you mean by that? All the prison inmates are wearing electronic bracelets. When a bracelet passes through the door, it activates the sensor and... Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh my gosh, they were advertising for sound. the Wii U! <laughs> totally. That's With what they two were doing. U's, though. So they, they, it was the, the Wii U. It was the bootleg version. <laughs> wee -oo. Wee -oo. Wee -oo. After a certain amount of time has passed, the bracelet will emit a painful shock. If the bracelets are tampered with, it will emit an electric shock three times more powerful and kill the person. No, I, I didn't actually say that. <laughs> That's really terrifying! It's to ensure that the inmates follow the rules. Although it, it does seem a bit harsh. That's why whenever an inmate goes through a door, a guard has to accompany them. To deactivate the sensor first. And that's that. Did any of the inmates use this workroom today? It could have been last night. In the past few days, no one has used this room. I'm sure of it. So not one inmate has entered this room today. Door sensor data jotted down in the organizer. If that's the case, it raises a contradiction with the crime scene. There is something in this crime scene that should not exist. I will use my powers of deduction and inspect the crime scene again. 
Huh? Are you giving this to me? I'm thrilled. Prosecutor's badge might make me more popular than my attorney's badge. <laughs> Thanks for the present. No, I never said a word about giving it to you. <laughs> that was just a joke. Oh, Gray has his own badge. <laughs> nice. Your attorney's badge? You don't wear it on your clothes? Hmm. In the winter, I wear it on my favorite coat. Your Uncle Ray only wears it on his victory clothes. <laughs> oh, boy. What kind of victory is he talking about? Well, you know how sometimes you score a night with the ladies? I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did I use the plural? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I meant a night with a pretty lady, not you a night with multiple with ladies. ladies. <laughs> Sometimes you score more than one girl in one night. You're like, <laughs> no. okay, shut up. Uncle Ray, you're a bad person. <laughs> I won't rest. I won't rest, period. I don't sleep. Uncle, uh, Uncle Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Uncle Edgeworth. Uncle Edgeworth. He's an only child. He will never be an uncle. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I had never thought about that. If you're an only child, you never get to be like an aunt or uncle unless you get married to someone with siblings. It's very true. Wow. Oh, uh, what's weird about his wrist? There's no bracelet on it. Oh, is that what it is? I think so. Eureka! Nope, I was wrong. <laughs> Could you be more precise? Oh, that's right, because he's not he's not an inmate, that's why. Yeah. Um, um, well, around here somewhere. Please be more specific, sir. Mm -hmm. There is something in this room that should not exist. Do yeah. I have the evidence to support this claim? Oh, wait. It's the glove. It's the glove. There goes... Well, <laughs> yeah, because... You can't take that in. Why did it say Eureka, then, if we got it wrong? He always says Eureka, even if you get it wrong. But, oh, it but does? only when you deduce. We pretty much never deduce wrong, that's why. Oh. The inmates cannot freely enter this room, as they're wearing bracelets that set off the sensors. According to the guard, it seems that no inmates were scheduled to enter this room today. However, a rubber glove used by the inmates was left in here. That is a direct contradiction. Then, who left this rubber glove in here, sir? I don't know. Yet. However, it seems that this rubber glove is connected to our case. I want to be That's a just lady. complete. Do you want to do like a one-hour recording session then and split it into two videos? Sure! Cool. We'll see you guys next episode.